Uh, turn off a plan to upgrade power. Tucson Electric Power is now surveying people to find out how to build a higher capacity transmission line to serve Midtown. An earlier plan failed at the ballot box in May. And 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live with more on what TEP is doing now and how some are reacting to the survey. J.D. Valerie, the proposed power line, TEP's Midtown Reliability Project, would connect a substation near here at Grant and I-10 to their facility near Irvington Road. But this is all about going overhead. Underground is not an option after voters rejected a fee that would cover that. Even though Proposition 412 did not pass last spring, TEP says it still needs to upgrade its Midtown transmission infrastructure. In some cases right now, customers could be without service for a number of hours, even a day or more, depending on the circumstances. We think that with these new facilities, they might experience a momentary outage, but that would be it. Spokesperson Joe Barrio says they're asking customers in the area of the new line what kind of poles they'd like to see and what areas to avoid. We do have some flexibility to adjust how tall those poles are. The taller they are, the fewer of them that we need. The shorter they are, the more of them that we need. So that's one of the things we've asked customers and stakeholders, do you have a preference? And is going to the voters, going to the residents and saying, we're going to make your city ugly. We just want to know from you how ugly do you want it to be? Ward 6 Tucson City Council member Steve Kazachik says TEP isn't putting all options on the survey by avoiding the costlier one going underground. You're going to get poles. You want big poles or not so big poles? That's a false choice, and this is exactly what got them into trouble with the franchise agreement. Proposition 412 included a usage fee that would have covered the cost of installation of transmission equipment for this project, which did have some underground portions. He says that if TEP doesn't offer that, it could have problems when Tucson voters are asked to approve the city's franchise agreement with TEP. Barrios says now that's a separate issue, and this is a new start for the route of the line. Currently, though, we are not considering any underground options for this project. Again, we don't have any routes. It's too early in the process for that. They're going to have to get the voters' approval on this franchise agreement anyway. It's, it's not the city council who approves that franchise agreement. It's the voters. And the first open house for this project is going to be on September 21st. Live near Grant and I-10, J.D. Wallace, 13 News. Hi, J.D., thank you. you uh...